we have got mineral resources. But up to now, the people are poor. I think maybe it is also time that African ministers responsible for mineral resources should now discuss how should these mineral resources benefit the people of this country, this continent. of this continent. Companies that are coming in, foreign direct investors, they are collecting data and they are, they are surrendering them to government. But we need to be robust in our approach because once you have more data and you have more riches in terms of, of, of that, you can then dictate the pace at, because you have taken the bigger risk and you understand the, 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 whole, um, the whole geo surface of Namibia and all its resources. There's no, there's no need for us to wait for only for foreigners to come here and, and, and literally shoot those data. If we are really saying, Komoche, the resources of this country must benefit the Namibian people. And we are saying the current mode of operation is not to the benefit of the people. And we are proposing how it must be reformed. What is exactly that that must be done for us to amend that law? You see, and I'm, I hope uh, Honorable Nikundi and them are not politicizing only, but not just saying it, be forceful, bring those bills, uh, where you have the forest where you are meeting, so that things can begin to change. We, we've discovered, well, what is the plan for the next 10 years? How are we going to benefit down the line? Those are the critical questions uh, that we need to ask ourselves so that we, we have that responsibility to correct what was wrong. Otherwise, getting and attaining and celebrating independence will be meaningless. Honestly speaking, Minister Tatetom Aluendo, Namibia is poor, yet Namibia is rich. We have been saying the same thing before independence, after independence, yesterday and today. Namibia is rich. It has natural resources. What are your ministry do to make sure that the Namibian people are benefiting from those natural resources without having these unnecessary policies that are equally stopping the Namibian people to benefit from their God-given resources. Now that we've got all discovery, um, it gives us more leverage in terms of how to negotiate uh, the deals. For example, when there was no discovery, you might have already been you know, more lenient in terms of what you request. But now that I know in the Orange Basin there is oil discovery, you are now in a better position also to actually request that you get more out of this. 